Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Wednesday. This weekend in Long Beach is Gay Pride Weekend, so if you don't care about Gay Pride Weekend or you don't want to know what I have to say about Gay Pride Weekend in Long Beach, if you don't live here, just fast forward to my intro and then we'll talk about trans stuff. But um, I did make a little list of things. Uh, Saturday is uh, at the Ice Bars Club in Tice. It's off Pine Street. It's like a block from the festival. It is the only lesbian bar you want to be at Saturday night, so please be there, Club in Tice at the Ice Bar off of Pine Saturday night. Also, there's the No One Hate Pictures where they put the tape over your mouth. Going on Saturday afternoon down at the Pike, um, I'll put the link here. Um, they're not free, so if you're going to come, bring money because they're not free. You'll see if you click the link. Um, also, Sunday, if you're going to Gay Pride and you want to say hi or hang out, I'll be at the corner of Ocean and Wanapero, Hunapero, whatever you call that street, on the side of the ocean. So I guess I'll see you guys there. That's my little announcement for Long Beach Pride. I'm so excited. And I will talk about trans stuff now. I get a lot of comments uh, for people who are new beavers who haven't watched like our huge catalog of videos asking if I'm trans. And no, I'm not trans. I'm like the ultimate like zenith, like butch lesbian, the top of the peak here of uh lesbians i am stone butch i bind but i don't bind because i want to transition i bind because and when i say bind i don't mean ace bandages i mean it's more like a uh like a compression shirt like those under armor shirt type things they just smash my chest down so that i look more less feminine less boobage and flatter because i don't like having big boobs i hate them and it's like a butch curse and i know that's so cliche to say but a lot of us butches have big, a big chest so i like to bind just for me, more more so than anything else, just to look and feel less booby. Because I feel funny having big boobs. But not because I want to transition. Just because I feel like these big boobs are a curse. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, So, there are lesbians who could pass as straight women. Looking women. And there are lesbians who could pass as straight men. And I guess I'm one of them. Until I open my mouth. And like I've said before in videos, like when I fly or when I'm traveling... People are always like, sir, what would you like to eat? Or sir, what would you like to drink? And then I'm like, well, I like water. <laughs> and then it's more embarrassing for them to have to apologize. Like, I'm sorry, you know, and it's not their fault. Like, look at me, you know, like, it's not that hard to mistake me for a guy. So if I were to walk a thousand miles in Kate's shoes or a trans man's shoes and a thousand more, and if I were to walk 5,000 miles or 500 miles, what's that song? Anyway, I would want to experience dating. And I would want to know, like Lori had mentioned, and, I, and I've seen this before, a lot of FTMs become gay males and date men. Would I be like that? Because I always say, like, in my next life, I want to be a gay guy. I want to be a gay guy, and I want to be rich. So would I become a gay man? And if not, where would I go to meet women? At a straight bar or at a lesbian bar? And I would think that if I went to a lesbian bar, and maybe Kate can shed some light on this for me, would people look at me like I was a guy going to meet women so I could watch, you know? Or, I don't know. And 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 also, like, if you meet somebody and you really are hitting it off, and, like, how would you tell them? Like, there's something I haven't told you. And, you know, it, it's not that those flowers on the table are fake. It's that, you know... I remember in San Diego when we were hanging out with Kate, he was at that point, I believe it was with Zena. I know it was with Zena. And we're like, have you told her yet? And he's like, no, but I have to, you know. And and I could just see on his face, he was like, damn it, you know, I really like this girl. But he, you face the chance of losing this person that you really care about just because, you know, you're MTF or even FTMs. And I know people, FTMs watch our channel too. So um, dating has to be hard. And I would want to experience that. Dating, the whole social thing, going to bars, where would I go? Who would I date and all that stuff? I'm very curious to see um, how that would go. And also, like, with sex, like, would I soft pack the whole time? Do, do FTM soft pack? And I'm not going to get into detail about that. You can Google that the whole time. I don't know. I, and I say this, and I've said this before, if I knew 12 years ago what I know now about the trans community and how to transition and how it all works, I probably would have. However... And this is my disclaimer or whatever. Um, I do not want to now. I am happy with who I've become and who I am inside and accepted that. But I probably would have transitioned years ago into a guy. It just, it makes me smile because I know that's probably what 
I should have been. But, and I know you guys are going to say it's not too late, AJ. I know. But I'm happy where I am now. But hopefully these videos can help you, baby beavers, where I was 12 years ago and in, in making that decision because I didn't do it because, A, I didn't know the resources were there for me. And B, I didn't know that it would be as accepted as it is now. Even in Long Beach Pride this year, we're going to have a trans awareness area, which has never happened before because it's just becoming so much more accepted and common, not within our community as a subculture, but just everywhere. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a step in the right direction. But if, if we can help one of you with this decision or let you know that it's okay and it's not wrong, just because I didn't do it doesn't mean that it's wrong or that it's taboo or something. It's just my own personal choice, but yeah, I definitely hope that this can help somebody, but I'm sorry, I keep looking over here because these are where my notes are, but I definitely would want to live a thousand miles in the dating community as a trans man, just to see how I could handle it, where I would go and who I could meet and how I would feel meeting these women. I don't know. That's something that I would be interested in doing. Anyway, uh, Cade, maybe you could answer some of my questions. I don't know. Because by Friday, there's going to be tons of them left for you. And um, I hope to see you guys this weekend around Long Beach. And um, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I hope I made some sense. I don't know. Bye.